When printing something that is on front and back of a piece of paper, you need to line up the front and the back to make sure that they match. In this case, I'm going to demonstrate how to do that. First of all, you're going to create a new letter size file inside of Illustrator. I'm going to call it your name, front, back. I'm going to create two artboards. One artboard is going to be for the front and one artboard is going to be for the back. I'm going to come down here where it says advanced options if it is not visible and I would like to go down to more settings and I'm going to make sure that this one is set up. What this is going to do is it's going to have the first artboard above the second artboard. By default it has one artboard on the left and one on the right and then it keeps going. I want to make sure the second one is selected. So when that's set up, I click Create Document, and here you can see I have my artboards. I'm going to turn on my ruler guides by going up to the word View, Rulers, Show Rulers. You can also press Command-R on the keyboard. Now the best way to do this is to line everything up on the center. Because if you're lining it up on the center, it is going to be easier to be the same on this side as on this side. Because we are flipping the page, everything has to be mirrored. If you have something on this side, you want it to be on this side down here, if it is the front and the back. So I'm going to go ahead and start off. I'm going to go a little bit more difficult. Instead of going right in the half of the page, I'm going to say I want to start up in the corner of the page, up here. And so I'm going to zoom in by pressing Command-1 on the keyboard. It will zoom in to 100%. And I'm going to set my ruler guides at a quarter inch. And so you can see I have a quarter inch on both sides. And I say I'm going to draw a, or I'm going to create something the size of a business card. If I go to my rectangle tool, and instead of clicking and dragging, I'm going to simply click. And it's going to ask me what are my width and height dimensions. Uh, for this case, a business card, it's going to be 3.5 inches by two inches, I can click on OK. Now I want to move this up to the corner. You'll notice that when I click off, it disappears. That's because when you use your rulers, it actually switches your stroke and your fill to be none. So I'm going to select this. I'm going to set my stroke and fill back so it has the default. I'm going to drag this up so it is lined up with the corner of my ruler guides. Now, if I want this to be the front, and if I want the back to be down here, it has to be on the opposite side. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to now zoom in. Command-1 will zoom in 100%. I press spacebar so I can see my next page. I'm going to come up to the corner of where these rulers intersect. I'm going to drag it down to my top left corner this resets zero to this location. I'm going to drag down another ruler that is a quarter inch. And from the right side of the paper, I'm going to drag a ruler that is a quarter inch from the right side. So now as I zoom out, Command minus will zoom out. I can see I have my design here. I can duplicate this design and put it down here so I'm going to press Alt on the keyboard and drag. And what I have done now is I have created a mirror image of the document. When this gets printed, this will line up with this. And so now what I want to do is I want to make all of my designs to make sure that they match up the exact same. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to have it duplicate over and over and over. But instead of me dragging a ruler guide for each one, what I want to do is I'm going to go up to Effect, Distort, and Transform, and I'm going to choose Transform. This gives me the option to make copies, and in this case, I want to make one more copy over here. I'm going to put a quarter inch space in between this copy and the other one. So I come down here, I'm going to type in one copy, I need to move it over because my the, because the business card is uh, 3.5 inches, I need to move it over 
3.5 plus my quarter inch. So if I come in here and I type 3.5, and I'm just going to show you that one first. If I turn off and on preview, it moves at the exact amount. But remember, I said I want a quarter inch, so I'm going to go 3.75. If I turn it on and off, with it selected, I'm going to apply a new effect. I go up to the word effect, distort and transform. I choose transform. Again, I'm going to click apply new effect. That way it adds to it. I now need to move it down two inches. And I, I turn on the preview. I can also press the tab key. It'll show me that it moves it down two inches. It is moving down the other copy at the same time. Don't worry about that. We are going to make one, two, three, maybe four copies. Let's see if we can get four in there. So I'm going to put four in the copies and I can press preview. And there you can see I have my four copies. Now I do want to have a little bit of space in between each one. I can try putting in a quarter inch again and see if it fits. If I preview this, you can see it goes out just a little bit. I can decide to only to reduce the number or I could decide to reduce. Let's say I put it at 2.1. I preview. That looks much better. I still have a little bit of space and I can click OK. So I now I have this outline. Whatever I do to this one object, it will apply to all of these other shapes. So if I wanted to round off the corners, you can see it rounds it off. Now, if I put something new in here, let's say I want to put a design here in the middle, my design will not duplicate unless I do apply and transform again. I recommend that you make your design first and then you select it all and you do apply and then you go up to effect and you go down to distort, transform, and you choose transform. And then once you have it, you can always adjust all of them the same way. Now, because we've done this up here, we need to match everything down below. We have to do it backwards. So we select on what we have here. We're gonna go up to effect, distort and transform, transform. This time I'm going to move it left. So if I go to horizontal, I'm gonna move it left three point seven five inches but I need to put a negative so that it knows which direction to go. I can turn on and off preview. I can see where it is. I'm going to make one copy. I click OK and now I need to do the same thing going down. So I'm going to go up to effect, distort and transform. I'm going to choose transform, apply new effect, and now I want to do the same thing vertical. 2.1, I believe is the number I used before. And I'm going to put in four copies. And there you can see I have my two designs. I can click OK. And the same thing, I can adjust and I can change this and it will adjust all of them the same. Now when I print this out, it should print lined up with this, lined up with this one. So what I recommend doing is creating your first design, making it perfect on both of these spots. Print one out to make sure that it looks good. And if it does, then you can do the effect, distort, transform, and you can transform and make these copies. This is also an example why at the beginning, I recommended measuring straight from the center. If you have everything straight from the center or symmetrical on both sides, it makes the measuring in the rulers much easier. But it's not always the case, so this is how you would do it if you did not start straight from the center and everything is symmetrical.